Hi guys, Mike here. Lockdown lesson number four. Uh, maintenance is vital. Maintenance is vital. So whether you are married, whether you have a car or a lawnmower, like I alluded to yesterday, or a house, whatever it is, maintenance is vital. Uh, and so it is with our faith. We've got to maintain our faith and our walk. There's a scripture in uh, Revelation 6, 9. It says this, When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls, souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had maintained. And the testimony they had maintained. We are today what we prepared for yesterday. You will be tomorrow for what you are preparing yourself for today. Someone once said the best time to plant a fruit tree was 20 years ago. Uh, the second best time is today. Uh, for Bible reading, get a plan. Don't just randomly open the Bible and put your finger in and say, oh, God's speaking to me like this, because you know what happens? You'll open it in two places. One will say that Judas went and hung himself, and the second one will be go forth and do likewise. You can't, you can't, <laughs> that's not maintenance, that's stupidity. So you've got to get a plan, now get a Bible reading plan. Uh, for me, I learned something in 1991, a guy by the name of Bill Gothard, uh, he read every fifth psalm, so if it was the first of the month, he read psalm, uh, sorry, every 30th psalm, he read five a day, uh, psalm 1, 31, 61, 91, 121, uh, and he read the proverb for that day. And if you do that, in one month, you'll go through the book of Proverbs and psalms. It's incredible. I've been doing that for 30 years nearly. Prayer. How do you learn to pray? You just don't pick up a book and learn. You actually got to go to people who know how to pray and learn from them at the same time. Never be so old as not to learn and never be so arrogant as not to be taught. Uh, Daniel Bailey in our church, Daniel was in YWAM several years ago and he's got a great example of how to pray and a very simple method for coming to God, uh, getting your heart straight and your mind straight before him and bringing these things to God and moving on with your day. So there's some tips for you. Lesson number four, uh, lockdown lesson, maintenance is vital. Make sure you maintain your testimony and you'll be like the saints from Revelation 6. Bless you heaps. Bye.